Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to solve for x in two-step equations that have fractions in them today and see how that works out for us. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll do four questions today, all involving fractions. Our first equation is x plus 2 over 3 is equal to 5. We're going to follow the same exact steps that we follow while we're solving for variables inside of equations. Is first we find the variable. In this case, it's x right there. We ask ourselves what happened to it or what is connected to it. And there are two things that are connected to x. First off, we have plus 2, and then we have divided by 3. Those are the two things that are connected with our variable. We have the addition of 2 here and then divided by 3. And when we're working with two-step equations, we have to peel off the layers or do the order of operations in reverse. So we have to remember that this is kind of like implied parentheses around there. So that's going to be the thing we do last and dividing by 3, getting rid of that, is what we're going to do first. So first we're going to multiply times 3 to get rid of that fraction of 3. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll multiply times 3 on both sides. They cancel each other out here, leaving us with just x plus 2 on the left side of the equation and 3 times 5, which is 15, on the right side of the equation. Now we have to get rid of that plus 2, and to do that we're going to do the inverse, which is subtraction. Minus 2, both sides of the equation, which leaves us with our final answer of x is equal to 13. You can always check your work with this by taking your answer, 13, plugging it into the original equation and seeing if you get a correct answer. Is 13 plus 2 divided by 3 equal to 5. You can check that answer and find that it is indeed correct and we've solved the, the equation correctly. Let's look at our next question. x minus 2 divided by negative 6 is equal to 12. We're going to follow those same steps. Find our variable x and what happened to it. Two steps. We have it divided by negative 6, and we also have x minus 2. Those are the two things that are connected to x, the two operations. And we're going to first remember that this is like an implied grouping symbol. So we're going to do that last and get rid of the fraction at first. So let's go ahead and do the opposite or the inverse of dividing by 6, negative 6. So we're going to multiply times negative 6 to both sides of the equation, leaving us with this canceled out with this, x minus 2 on the left side of the equation, and 12 times negative 6 gives us negative 72 on the right side of the equation. Now we're going to address x minus 2 by adding 2. We're doing the inverse operation. We'll add 2 to both sides of this equation, leaving us with x is equal to negative 70. Again, we can check our work. Is 70 minus 2, negative 70, I'm sorry, minus 2, divided by negative 6 equal to 12. And if that checks out, then we have solved our equation correctly. For our last question, oh, second last question, we have x minus 8 divided by negative 5 equals negative 1. There's so many negatives in this, I just feel, feel a negative vibe coming from it. Our variable of x has two things happening to it. We have being divided by negative 5, and we're subtracting 8. To first off get rid of that fraction, we are going to multiply both sides of this equation times negative 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 will cancel each other out, leaving us with x minus 8 on the left side of the equation. I have negative 1 times negative 5 on the right side, which just gives us positive 5. 
Now we have to get rid of that negative 8. To do that, or minus 8, we have to add 8 to both sides of the equation, leaving us with our final answer of x is equal to 13. Again, wow, x sure is equal to 13 an awful lot in this lesson. All right, let's look at our next, our final question here. And that is 3x divided by 7 is equal to 6. This is a two-step equation as well because our variable x is being multiplied times 3 and divided by 7. So how do we know which one to do first? We look at what is closest to our variable. The 3x is very close together, so we're going to do that last. And we'll peel off the fraction layer first. Try and peel off the layers one at a time. So let's go ahead and to do that, we need to multiply both sides times 7. They will, 7s will cancel each other out here, leaving us with 3x is equal to 6 times 7, which is 42. Now we'll deal with that multiply times 3 by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. Giving us our final answer of x is equal to 42 divided by 3, which gives us x is equal to 14. That's how we solve two-step equations when we are involving fractions. Two things to keep in mind. Remember all the rules for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Remember to peel off layers starting with the things farthest away or least connected to our variable and moving in. Another way of thinking about it is the opposite of the order of operations when you are undoing an equation. And then we have to remember, as always, our rules for solving equations to find our variable, ask what happened, and then do the inverse to both sides of the equation. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.